Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a brand new video today for a match preview between Tramier Rovers and Mansfield Town this going Friday night. Huge game for Tramier Rovers. Tramier Rovers really need to get back to winning ways as soon as possible because Tramier Rovers have lost their last five games in a row which has been shocking. Well, we've actually got a draw and the lost the last four games, which is not, it's not great. It is really not great. And we need to prove to ourselves that we can be better in this. We are at home, which we are at the top of the uh, form table for being at home, which is fantastic. But we need to start winning games. We need to start winning games. If we want to win games, we have to beat the best teams in this league, which... It's not good at the moment with the way we're playing. We've been absolute diabolical this season. Diabolical. And I hate to say it, but we've been shite. Absolute shite. And can I see us getting the win this week? This Friday? No, not a chance. And if I have to say we're going to win, I think we're just going to we'll probably nick it, but... I'm not confident. I'm real not confident this Friday, but I just hope we can get something out of the game because the way we're playing is absolute shambolic. We could be seventh by the end of uh, Tuesday night because obviously um, extra playing Swindon and we could be seventh. So obviously we do win on Friday. We, we're about to third, which is crazy, but. I'm not confident we're getting promoted this season. I don't even think we'll finish in the top seven. And that is me actually being serious because the way we've been playing this season has been not great. Obviously, we've been great in the last 10 games when we won the last 10 games. But the last five games have been absolutely shocking. Our waveform is atrocious. It's not been great. The plays have not been good. We're not creating chances. We're only scoring in the last 10, 15 minutes of games, which we need to be starting scoring in the whole game, not just the second half in the last 10, 15 minutes. It's shambolic football, the way we've been playing in the past few weeks, obviously being away from home against Newport, Northampton, um, getting the draw against Port Vale 1-1. We should have won that game. And we weren't that good at all. So we're playing a team who are unbeaten in the last five. They have had three wins and two draws. So I'm not confident this game. I'm really not confident. But um, with them games, um, they've played the likes of um, Mansfield, played the likes of Exeter. Uh, Newport we're getting draws in the end games that's good for them and obviously it's not good for us I mean, it's really not because I want to see us being a good football team and we're not a good football team at this moment in time and I'm being actually serious we're not creating chances we need to create chances to win games and it just hasn't happened the players have been absolute lazy in this the last five weeks, six weeks, it's been shite. I hate to say this, but I'm a, I'm a Trammy fan, and I just haven't I'm I haven't liked it for the last six game six weeks of playing awful football. So, and um, with the games, can I see Trammy Rovers winning? No, I really can't. Tramio's last game was against Northampton, 3-2 uh, defeat last week. Yes, we scored two goals in the last 10 minutes of the game, scoring a penalty and scoring a goal from uh, Josh McPeak. It was, it was a good goal, but we need to play a lot better in the football. In the first half, we need to be a more critical. We need, critical. We need to be more better. We need to play more better. On the, we need to play, stop playing hoofball because that's pissed me off right now. And it's just not good. It's absolutely not good. And 
I just can't see us getting anything this coming Friday. But if we do get something, that would, would be fantastic. So it's not going to be, it's not looking good at the moment for Tramier. But um, Mansfield's manager is Nigel Clough, who is a good manager. Obviously, he's been at the likes of uh, Burton Albion. And I think he was at Derby County a few seasons back. And he's actually turned them around. Obviously, I remember them getting their first win against Tramier, winning 2 0 at their place. And the game was just shambolic from Tramier Rivers, the way we played. It was not great at all. And they've been on an absolute mayhem of a run. They've been fantastic. They've been probably one of the best teams in the league this season, other than Forest Green. But yeah, I think they've been better than Forest Green. So yeah, they've got some good players in themselves. They've got um, Nathan Bishop, who is on loan at Manchester United, who is a goalkeeper. He's been phenomenal for them this season. They've got um, Lucas Aitkins, that used to play for Tramier. I thought Lucas Aitkins was good for Tramier when he was at Wibbles. And they've got Mike Longstaff, who is on loan at Newcastle United. So they've got a great playing in them. And um, Longstaff's been scoring fun for the past few weeks now. So it will not surprise me if he does score against Tramier Rovers. But will I be confident going into this game? Well, I've done my team decision for this game. So I've gone for Joe Murphy in goal. Did Dohan has been he's lacked so much in the last a few weeks in the games. He hasn't been the greatest, but this is only my opinion, what I'm thinking, because I've been in the games. I'm gonna say Cogley in the right back, Tom Davis and Peter Clark as our two centre backs. Cal McDonald as our left back, Kieran Morris on the right, Josh Hawks with Lee O'Connor, with um Lee um with Lee Wong um um Wong's not on the bench. I think he's gonna have a little break. Um Josh McPig as a left mid because Josh McPig did score a goal and I thought he played really well last weekend. So my two shugs are Kane Hemmings and Paul Gartzel. Paul Gartzel was back last weekend, which was fantastic. But I've I've just got I'm just gonna say this. If we win, I do think it'll be a 1-0 win for Tramy Rovers from a Paul Gartzel goal, but that's me being crazy. So but in my personal opinion, I do think we'll get beat 3-1. So that is my prediction. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, so please like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys this Friday for Tramiers against Mansfield Town. I'm not confident one bit, but yeah, let's just see what happens this Friday. So come on, you boys, up the lights, super on me. I'll see you guys in a bit. I like Duncan's YouTube channel, it's brilliant.